Player homes have been a staple for Bethesda games over their past titles. Take a look at Skyrim with its Hearthfire DLC or in the major cities like Honeyside and Riften. Oblivion also has its own variations on player homes like Frostcrag Spire or Dunbarrow Cove. All of these let the player have a chance to unwind and have a nice place to stay while in between quests. In recent years, they started to change the formula up a little bit with settlement crafting, so what does that mean for Starfield? And what is up guys, Andrew from the Den Men here, and today I wanted to take a look at what player homes in Starfield could look like. There's a lot that we could be seeing, so if you're excited, make sure you hit that like button and comment what you want to see from player homes in Starfield. With that being said, we have a lot to go over, so kick back, strap into your seat, and let's blast off into today's video. Starfield is in a unique position because it is the culmination of a lot of past Bethesda games. We see a lot of the RPG elements from Oblivion, settlement building from Fallout 4, and the building blocks to what made Skyrim so great. Starfield will attempt to build off of these games and create its own identity in the sci-fi genre. This includes its very own player homes which I think will work a lot different this time around. Starting with outpost building and spaceship crafting which will play a big part when it comes to player homes. Outposts were described as your home away from home and lets the player build what they want to build. This is something that looks to be really fleshed out and adding on to what we got in Fallout 4 and 76. Now at face value this might seem not as good of a feature but when you take a look at all of the little things you will be able to do in outpost building then it appears to be something that will blend really well with the theme of Starfield. There are a couple of things that will make it different from settlement building like the idea that outposts will be able to function on their own without the player having to do everything for them. This is similar to something like the Sims Settlements mod from Fallout 4 and I am excited to see how far they take this in design. With that you will be able to hire a crew to work the outpost and effectively manage it for you. You will also be able to take a bird's eye view of the surrounding area, a step up from the settlement system in Fallout 4. The main reason for the outpost is extracting resources from the world you are on and using it as a home away from home. Being able to effectively create your own outpost in Starfield is a good feature, but we are not done yet. On top of outpost building, we have the spaceships which could be considered as your home in space. Customization will play a big part with this, with your ability to do whatever you want with your ship. Whether that be changing its color, defenses, or speed, there is a lot that spaceships have the ability to do. You can also hire your own crew to man the craft, which will essentially individualize it even more. It goes without saying that your spaceship isn't going to be just a cutscene from location to location. You will be able to go inside, talk to your crew, and interact with a lot of the features as well. We don't exactly know what it will look like, but it can be assumed that spaceships in general will be playing a big part in the world of Starfield. This is a lot different than what we have seen in other Bethesda games because this time your player home can be moved from different locations instead of staying in one spot and what I love about it is the customizability to it so I can't wait to see how it will all play out in game. I really like the idea that you will be able to customize your very own captain's quarters or something similar so I hope they don't take spaceship crafting and for that matter the player home it will be for granted. Something that I think Bethesda should really take a look into is the ability to buy a home in some of the major cities. We have seen this a number of times in games like Skyrim and Oblivion. What makes these so good is the way they took the theme of the cities and made it their own. Think of Valindral Hall and Mark Arthur, Breeze Home and Whiterun. These were great ways to help express the city, but also a nice place for a player home as well. They could take this idea into Starfield, which I am hoping that they do eventually. There will be a heavy focus on the cities in Starfield, with a few of note like New Atlantis, Neon, and Aquila City. It would be amazing if we could see them take the designs of these cities and make a home out of them for the player. Think about how different a city in the streets of Neon would be. It could be something that looks straight out of Cyberpunk and I am all for that. Or take a look at New Atlantis and just think about the futuristic atmosphere we could see. I can really picture it as this almost utopian palace with some extreme technology to make it all work. There is a lot of potential when it comes to Bethesda created homes, so I hope we get to see them in some fashion. As you can tell, I really like the idea of being able to build your own house with outposts, but also have that Bethesda one to give a nice contrast. In my opinion, if we do see both, there will be some unique features specifically tied to the ones we can find in the cities, while the outposts are more about resource farming in that home away from home type. Let's go off of the idea for a second that we will see our very own houses in the major cities though. I expect that we will also have faction ones as well. 
I doubt these will be on the same level as the ones that we can purchase or get through a quest in the city, but the faction ones will certainly have their own feel to it. Maybe for climbing the ranks in Ryujin Industries, you get access to a corporate penthouse and get to live life as a high-ranking executive. Or what about Constellation, with it potentially having just a small dorm room for its headquarters? These could vary greatly and would give the player options to choose from and to store equipment from their many missions. I like the idea of having faction housing just because it brings you closer with the NPCs of that faction. Maybe at night you start to overhear some talking about an important mission coming up, or from the corporate side you can host parties for the executives. It's little things like these that will get players immersed into the world of Starfield, so my hope is that if we do get to see player homes outside of outposts and spaceships, it is done to the extent that it will be some of the best we have seen in Bethesda games. Last thing I want to talk about is more from an RPG side. We've already got confirmation of at least one player home in the game with the starter home from the trait system. This will allow the player to have their very own small little house from the start of the game, but there's also a catch when it comes to this. The player will start off with a 50,000 credit mortgage, but they will have to pay it off throughout the time of the game. It is still unknown how you can pay it off, but this is a great idea to say the least. I like how it is tied to your backstory as a character in the game and gives the player somewhat of an edge up right from the start. This also has some negatives as well, with there being a 50,000 credit mortgage hanging over your head. There's not really much more I can say without seeing it in game, but there's definitely a lot of potential here. Player homes might not be that big feature that many fans will remember, but it is there for those who want to show off various weapons or armor they get from the many quests or to just relax in between missions. I really enjoyed how they were handled in games like Skyrim and Oblivion, but to me they could be done even better for Starfield, so I hope that they go above and beyond for player housing. But that is all for me now though guys, if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment any videos you want to see in the future, and I'll see you all next time.